Hey everyone! IHE profiles are solution design documents. They provide a common framework for solving problems that are common to most radiology departments. There are two types of profiles. Final profiles have been tested and are ready to use by everyone. Trial profiles are still being tested and worked out. Profiles fit into four categories. They are workflow, content, presentation, and infrastructure. The current active profiles are scheduled workflow, patient information reconciliation, post-processing workflow, and reporting workflow. The current ones under trial are mammography acquisition workflow and post-acquisition workflow. Notice how they all have an acronym to designate what they are. For example, scheduled workflow has the acronym SWF. I'm going to go through the workflow profiles with you now. Scheduled workflow establishes a seamless flow of information that supports efficient patient care workflow in a typical imaging encounter. It specifies transactions that maintain the consistency of patient information from registration through ordering, scheduling, imaging acquisition, storage, and viewing. This consistency is also the foundation for subsequent workflow steps such as reporting. You can see the systems involved are the HIS, ADT, RIS, PAX, and the acquisition modalities. Of course, they're involved through modality work list. There are a lot of benefits to using the IHE recommended scheduled workflow. There are benefits that reduce errors, enhance patient care, and improve throughput. In addition, there are benefits that reduce deployment cost and time. The great thing about these IHE profiles is they've already been tested. When you implement them, you can have confidence that they will already work good. Here is a visual representation of the IHE Schedule Workflow model. Epic Radiant uses this model as their workflow, which is why even a walk-in procedure like a chest x-ray has to be scheduled before it gets done. No, this is a workflow model. If some of you are thinking, hmm, that doesn't really match the interface flow, well, you're correct, it doesn't. The interface message flow and the workflow are similar parallel streams, but they don't line up identically and they should be thought of as separate entities. Patient information reconciliation. This is used to handle unidentified or emergency patient, patients. Not every patient comes to the emergency room conscious and awake and can identify themselves. Demographic information updates such as patient name changes, correction of mistakes, ID space mergers, such changes are reliably propagated to all effective systems which updates all the affected data. And the result is a complete patient record. In other words, the HIS, the PACS, they all have the same patient name and the same patient information. Here are the benefits of patient information reconciliation. Good patient reconciliation practices leads to a good, clean patient database and fewer misidentified patients, which is obviously a very good thing in a hospital. Here is a visual representation of a trauma workflow with a patient who is unable to identify himself. The patient comes in, gets examined, orders are placed, images are acquired, and then printed on film. Not until the patient is identified and the image is updated with his demographics is the procedure scheduled and then the image is sent to PACS. This is a great concept, but in the real world, most places don't have the capability to print film anymore. The images are just reviewed at the modality. This workflow also doubles perfectly as your downtime workflow. If PACS is unavailable, this is a great workflow to use. The post-processing workflow profile provides the means to organize and schedule post-processing tasks and to monitor their progress and completion. PWF is a natural logical extension of the scheduled workflow profile and provides capabilities of, to sustain and optimize several tasks typically performed after image acquisition in preparation for the following image interpretation. Reporting basically. It specifies transactions to support a seamless flow of information for typical post-processing tasks like quality control, image reconstruction, computer-aided detection, and 3D view generation. Here are the post-processing benefits. 
I want to draw your attention to the one that reads, Consistency and integrity of patient and clinical information can easily be maintained as the integrated systems can preserve the proper correlation of patient demographics, order information, and procedure data with the generated images and post-processing results. What that means is by using a patient work list, the tech doing the post-processing doesn't have to type in the name and the session number and all that information and make a mistake that you, the PAX admin, has to fix when he sends the post-processed, post I can't say that today, post-processed images. This is another visual representation where the IHE ideal workflow and reality differ. Notice in the guide. Notice in the diagram, the acquisition modality would send the raw images to PAX. Then they would be retrieved to the post-processing workstation and sent back to PAX in a presentation state. Remember when we talked about how PAX stores the image in two additional copies? Well, you can see how that would add up if you stored the raw images and the presentation images. Most places send the raw images directly to the post-processing workstation, and then only the presentation state images are sent to PAX. So let me add two completely conflicting statements that make perfect sense to me. One, your PAX life will be much easier if you follow the IE, IHE recommendations and buy IHE compliant devices and software. Statement two, you have to know when to completely ignore IHE and do things a better way, which obviously defeats the whole purpose of IHE. Now if you're confused how two completely opposite statements make perfect sense to me, be sure to ask me in class to explain it. The reporting workflow profile provides the means to organize and schedule reporting tasks and to monitor their progress and completion. The reporting workflow integration profile is a natural logical extension of the scheduled acquisition workflow and post-processing workflow profiles and provides the capabilities to sustain and optimize several tasks typically required for image interpretation, making the report. It specifies transactions to support a seamless flow of information for typical reporting tasks, such as interpretation, dictation, transcription, verification, and review. Here are the benefits of the reporting workflow profile. My favorite benefit here is this one. Details of the effectively performed tasks and utilized resources and materials are essential input for an accurate charging of radiological services. Remember, the coders can't bill until they have an accurate report to work from. Here is the diagram of the reporting workflow. Consider the importance of the accession number in the workflow. PAX uses it to match up the images and the patient demographic information. The dictation system uses it to match the study to the report. The accession number gets assigned by the RIFs and sent with the order information. Import Reconciliation Workflow Integration Profile establishes a flow of information that supports the efficient importation of DICOM patient data from an external enterprise. Studies you get from an outside hospital is a simpler way to say that. It provides transactions that maintain the use of consistent patient procedure information between the data being imported in the local enterprise, the hospital you work at, while maintaining the integrity of the original data. DICOM patient data imported into the local enterprise can be used in the same manner as DICOM created by the local enterprise. In other words, when you import Joe Smith's chest x-ray from a CD, you need it to match up to the same Joe Smith that you have on your PAX database. Here are the benefits of the import reconciliation workflow profile. Remember I said you will spend a lot of time as a PAX admin importing and exporting studies from CD? Well, this profile lays out how it should be done, and if everyone followed it, PAX life would be much easier. This workflow starts in the upper right-hand corner when you get a CD from an external source. Then you, the PAX admin, I think that might be Trevor in the tie at the computer updating the patient information to the local demographics. Then it's merged into the existing local patient record to be available to be reviewed. Here are the trial workflow profiles. They aren't fully developed and in practice yet, so we don't have the systems involved or benefits yet for those. I know that was a long slide deck with a lot of information to take in, so I made content profiles their own slide deck. Maybe take a short break before you dive into that one. Thank you.